welcome back to another video and today we're doing another one of those like um you know that dinosaur tours video i did i'm doing another one of those but except i'm doing halo lego if you don't know what um halo is halo is a video game that is a like long story there's five games right now and wait let me think i figured something out in halo 2 you start off and it was like it was like realistic. And do you know that star cutscene was actually in Halo 5 in the middle when you were trying to save Arbiter. Um the Arbiter is an elite, if you didn't know he's like a big boss guy. But he turned nice in Halo 2. Well he was bad and then he turned nice, but he never fought like humans. Um in Halo 5, you're trying to rescue him from the Covenant, which are the bad guys. And they have elites, grunts, brutes, and lots more. They are, they're trying to, like, take over, I'm pretty sure, a uni the universe. And what Halo is, a Halo is this huge ring in, the, in space. And it's basically a planet, but, like, inside out, and, like, it's only like part of it um and i think there's only like seven left and one of them can basically um take over one galaxy so what so in halo 2 the arbiter is talking to someone and it and the someone is a human and the human is trying to find master chief which is so the guy you play as is in um all four other Halos. Um and well not in Halo five, so all three other Halos if I'm talking about Halo two. So that means that wait, let me think. <laughs> that he was telling the Halo two is the Arbiter telling the story and once you you're doing something else in Halo 5, that's when he's finished the story. So that's when you just go on. So, back to the video of Halo Lego. This Halo Lego right here, with these two guys, I'm pretty sure it's from Halo Wars 1. There is Halo Wars. Halo Wars is basically like a strategy game where you can take troops and move them, and you're supposed to beat other players and just by destroying their, like, basically forts. And there's also a different one where you have to get your there's points, get enough points to put troops down and you can basically um, go around and collect, well, like, get those flags. So now back. So this is a, oh, uh -oh. I think I've fallen off. Well, that's okay. Well, this is the drone at the side of this. I don't know how it goes. Oh, this way, I'm pretty sure. It was a drone that showed. This is the gun with the person on it. This guy, sadly, um, in my Lego set when I was building it, he didn't actually, like, he only had one leg. And we couldn't find the other leg. So basically, I had to take a leg from the other Halo guys I don't play with anymore. And this gun is like a hard gun. It's, it like goes pew, waits like a few seconds, then can go pew again. I am, tomorrow, I am get, get, going to do an unboxing video of one of these. But this, it's a different one. And there's not no this guy in it. And inside of this... There's a dude right here, and there's a gun there for the, um, this guy, but I don't know where I put this gun, wait. I think it's in there with him. Yeah, I don't see it. Well, this guy is Sergeant J. Forge, which is in Halo Wars 1, if I'm pretty sure. And I like this because there's, like, a, some gas tanks, and it's, like, a, rammer type because you see these and it's hard like steel or metal um 
here where the driver is supposed to be, but here is just no protection at all except there and like sides. But not there. If I was on there and trying to shoot him, then he's probably dead. So on to the next bit of this guy that came with this. This is a banished Goliath. The banished was a group of brutes. I said that weirdly. Brutes. Brutes that um that didn't like the covenant because they kept on losing their like their kind in battle. So oh took that off here. Put it back on. And Goliaths were like I will show you something else in my in my video of something that is the same made out of this. This right for are worms. It's made of worms. And all the cup all the roots did was just put armor on it. And that was basically it. And they put some like energy stuff. And it's pretty cool because you can like make it stand up and stomp on somebody. Back legs are small, but the front legs have like shields on it, so it can use like to block attacks. I also like its head because it kind of has like a ramming thing, kind of looks like a knight. It's pretty cool. And I like these shorter things. And there's also spikes on the back, like the next thing I'm gonna show you. And these, I don't know what they're all like, some sort of canisters. I don't know. So, on to the next one. This is a Halo Ghost. A Halo Ghost, well, this is a Halo Banished Ghost. A ghost is like a little drive vehicle that can float because if you see these white things, it will just like go around for you. But on carpets, it doesn't really work because this guy, which is a brute, I'll show his face. Um, can like fling off somehow, or like his legs might come off. Um, he comes with the weapon, which is this. It's kind of an explosive weapon, so not that explosive. On the ghost, there are two little guns here that you can move up and down. So if there was like an air, they would like point up like this to fl fly her up to them. Let's put those down back again. And this blue stuff is like the, the electricity that keeps it up and moving. Also this place. Okay, it's time to show you what this baseball brute looks like. A brute looks like this, if you see him. It kind of looks like a big ape or something. Yeah. It looks kind of weird. But the most weirdest are the leaves. They look really weird with their mouths. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put them back on to the position as what he was. Yeah, put that there. The next one I gotta show are these three. Um, these guys. They are sold separately because they didn't come out all the same. They are battle mechs. I'll show you the first one which is this one it has a big cannon that has some sort of aiming type thing there it has like sh um shields on it um like shoulder it has some like artillery cannons for probably taking down air or like by looking down and firing at enemies also i just put this on because i didn't know where to put th put this Oh, damn it. Um, on the guy, because the guy's inside the mech, and if I get him out of the mech and use the gun on him, he wouldn't be able to fit inside of this. So, yeah. And this is, and this part right here was the hardest for me to put on. It just kept on falling off and falling off and falling off. That was just so hard. On to the next one. My favorite is this one. It's two guns that I think would be like a, a two guns. And it has like a jetpack here, which is the coolest. And I also really like its color design. It's so cool. Oh yeah, and also all of these 
is two creations and if you get the mega constructs app then you can do the um other ones like this is the second one of this guy but i'll get to that one next after this one which we're about to get to i really like jetpack because you can basically like if you had a flying human vehicle it you well, I mean, Covenant Vehicle, I can, like, go up to it and, like, pew pew it. Right, on to this one. This one is the second, um, of the Battle Mech one. It, it was, the first, um, actual one was, it was supposed to have a hammer and a shield. But I changed it to this, because I like guns. <laughs> um... I don't know if there's anything more to say about this guy, because everything I put in was just this, was the shield and the big hammer. I really like the hammer, it was like really cool, like you can jump off and like slam on the ground, that'd be so cool. Now, second to last one, this, the hunter, also made of worms, from like that goliath. I'm pretty sure this is a banished hunter, but it said it was a remnant hunter, and I don't know what the remnants are. I know what it means. It means, like, the last or something. Um, it has a big plasma cannon on its, um, one of its arms. It's attached to it, and it, it can do two attacks with this. It can do many little blasts, like, or it can do a big blast, like, bang. It also has a shield on this side where it can do like that its weaknesses in the game are its back right here and its neck you try to shoot at the neck like four shots after it'll just like do this and you wouldn't be able to like get it i like this i like the shield because you can like do this and make it do like that but oh this is far off it is really cool and also there are spikes like the Goliath, but they're small and you can like move them and stuff. Yeah. That's about this guy. Now onto the big boy. Okay. You might see a camera a little bit, but there are three characters. This is a grunt, a elite, and a human. Um and the thing for it is this. This is one of my favorites because it has like rockets here and like a thing called boop, 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 boop. Um, this is called a mantis. A mantis. Um, I think it only appears in Halo Five. Its legs are a little bit in a weird position because it's like moves back. It's it might be hard to stand up, but you need to, like, stand it up, and, like, it needs to be pointed out like that. I really like it. Inside, you have to put that guy in it, but it's kind of hard. It, I can't, like, put him in. It's sad. On to the people now. So, the people is the human. Oh, yeah, also, this is, um... Is Halo 5 Lego and it's I'm pretty sure hmm well it's like a multiplayer one because look this skin you can't find these skins in the thi thing unless there are secret weapons you can find I found one on accident in Halo 5 but it's hard to get it because you can risk dying or like there's like blue and then there's yellow and red on the gun it kind of like stands out a lot. Now here's the grunt. The grunt is actually if you didn't know the grunts were actually cannon fire for the covenant. They didn't want to join but the the covenant said like they would kill all of them if they didn't join so they had to. It's like a one shot kill. Even in legendary mode. They completely suck. But they can like one shot you. This gun, it's like a, it has like these crystal sharp things on here, and when it fires, it 
like too many shots onto something and it, if it breaks their shield it explodes I'm pretty sure onto our elite the elite has a little plasma pistol plasma pistols are like the worst gun in the game they they can charge up and fire and destroy some enemy shields and you can just do little shots but some weapons they take energy and energy is like the ammo for them oh his head fell off don't want that eh. well well this gun is pretty bad but in halo 1 it's pretty easy to kill everything so this gun in halo 1 mm, pretty good now time for its face um its face is the scariest of all faces the face it is oh, oh. face it has four weird mouth things oh maybe you didn't see it bro because i like put it up like right there yeah so well the well you know the point of what the um brute face looked like i'll put that back up there And also, if you do not have Halo, I do suggest you play. It's a really great, great game, and I think they're actually putting doing Halo Six right now, because Halo Five it needs to have a diff Halo Five it ended with kind of cliff a cliffhanger. Um, Halo Two is available on PC if you didn't know. And also, Halo is available on, um, oh, uh, what was that again? Xbox. Which is happy for me because I have an Xbox and I only got, got the Xbox because I wanted to play Halo. See? $100 just to play Halo. And that's why I like Halo. I have all the Legos. But the rest of the Legos I have up there's of my um halo is like um just people like these and they have names there's the obvious one but i don't want to put too many like in so i didn't waste much of your time so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and if you want to see if you want to see more of these types of videos leave a like and subscribe Bye!